Back to our developing story out of Florida. 17 people killed in a high school in Parkland, Florida. Right now, the mayor of Parkland, Florida, Christine Hunchowski, joining us by telephone live. Yeah, Mayor, uh, can you bring us up to date? When you first started getting word that this was happening, uh, I mean, what went through your mind? Um, we first got a phone call yesterday afternoon saying that our first responders were responding to um, an active shooter call at the high school. And my first thought was, oh, hopefully, you know, it's a false alarm. And then I heard sirens, more and more sirens going by. And then I headed over there and parents were just starting to gather and um, waiting to hear from their children. And then the text started coming in from their children, letting them know they were okay. You probably know some of those parents personally. What, what can you tell I do. Them? What, what, what do you say to them? Um, I don't know that there's anything you can say other than to let people know how sorry you are and that you're there for them, no matter what they need. Have, you, have the police been able to at least identify all of the victims yet to let everyone know what's happened now? Um, I... I'm not 100% sure about everybody, but I know they were still there at 1.30 in the morning um, with uh, grief counselors um, talking to the relatives. The, uh, yeah, the last we had, had heard uh, was that maybe there were still five bodies unidentified. Um, we, we just can't imagine what these families are going through waiting at this Well, point. and that, I think, um, I, I was with some of the families while they were waiting, and it was just painful to watch them waiting and not knowing and wondering every time someone came in the room, would they now know something? And they spent many hours waiting to hear what had happened to their loved ones. Just awful. Yeah. Mayor, is there a process for today um, to update people on what's going on? Um, yes, we should be getting an update soon. Um, I'm thinking probably within the next half hour, hour from our Broward Sheriff's Office. The Broward Sheriff's Office uh, does the policing in the city of Parkland. Um, and then we also today have grief counselors throughout our city at um, the elementary schools, at the middle school. The high schools closed today and tomorrow. And we also have grief counselors at our Parkland Library and at our Parkland Rec Center. Mayor, have you heard if there's going to be any federal help uh, for you all? Um, I have personally not heard that. Um, our um, Florida Attorney General, she is here and she has brought a team with her and they are providing help at this point in time, yeah. as well as the Red Cross is here. And so we've gotten um, help from our local and state agencies. This has just mm -hmm. got to be unfathomable. I mean, the, the perception from two days ago of your big high school in your town compared to today, describe the differences in your mind. Um, I think there's still a complete sense of shock. Um, we're a very, we're a small city. Uh, we're in the northwest corner of Broward County, a very close-knit community, very family-oriented community. Um, I was just in the high school this past weekend judging at a debate tournament. Um, people come to Parkland for the schools here. They're Broward County schools, but the ones located in Parkland, people come here to attend for their children to attend those schools. And people are in those schools all the time with activities. So to just see it today is just devastating. So many people said that they heard warnings about this this boy who pulled the trigger. What do you do when there are warnings and nothing happens to stop it? Um, I think we need to be more vocal and um, push the information out there that if you see something, you need to say something. Um, I feel like in our society, people sometimes will walk by and say, you know what? not my business. I don't want to get involved. And I'm hoping that we can promote people getting more involved. The worst thing is you made a mistake. Um, the best thing is you might have prevented a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. And have you heard from, have police been able to determine how this former student even got into the school? Um, I have, I have not, not received, um, information on that and right now with the investigation going on um, the police are keeping very tight on certain information.
You said you do know some of these folks personally. What what have they talked to you about? Um, I know folks personally who have lost children. Um, and the people are just very scared. And so today, tomorrow, for the weeks to come, it's our job as a community to be here for our friends, for our neighbors, for our whole community, and to help them recover from this. Incredibly difficult time. Mayor Anchofsky, we appreciate you being up early with us. Thank you so much. I know you have a full plate. Get back to the job okay. at hand and take care of those kids. Thank you. Yeah.